Hey everyone, it's Aaron. Today I'm going to show you how to make glowing LEDs in Photoshop. Um, there's a lot of different techniques to do this. I quite often think that people sort of overdo it. Um, it's To me, when I look at a glowing LED in real life, it's pretty simple. Uh, it's actually more difficult, in my opinion, to make the off state than the on state. Because when you look at the on state of a LED, you, your eye perceives pretty much just a, a blinding pool of light. Um, so I'm going to show you the techniques, one of the techniques that I use to do this. I'm starting out here with four different color uh, circles. They're going to represent um, the bottom ones will be the off states of our LEDs. Top ones are going to be the on states and they do have color to them. If I go to the blue one here, you can see it's a very dark blue. I've used a very dark hue of each of these colors and you'll see why in a minute. So I'm gonna start with the blue one and we'll start with the on state. Or I'm sorry, we'll start with the off state first. Now. I've gone ahead and saved um, the styles I'm going to use as presets, but I will go through them step by step to show you what I did. And all of these are just one layer styles. I was, I'm not using multiple layers for any of this. Okay, so here's the style for my blue button off state. I've got a bevel and emboss set up like this, size of six. Um, other notable things, I have the shadow mode turned all the way down, so there's no shadow. You're strictly talking about the highlight. And the altitude is set very high, and the angle is, I left it at 120, but I turned off global white. And what that gives us is just that little white sort of reflection there. Next is the inner shadow. You're seeing that right in here. And that obviously is the effect of the bezel that the LED is sitting in, sort of overshadowing part of the inside. Here are the settings I used for that. Next is this inner glow that is similar in effect to the inner shadow. It also gives us sort of a a shadow inside the LED because you have the, the plastic casing of the LED and then the actual you know part that emits light underneath there so you get some light reflection refraction and some shadowing things like that on the inside next is the color overlay and this is key this color this is a sort of a light gray here's the the hex for it and I have that overlaying that dark blue that I made the, the original shape and my blend mode is set to color dodge and what that does is depending on the the shade of gray or white that you use it will brighten up that color underneath it's just like raising the saturation or not the saturation the uh, brightness in, in the uh, color wheel. So for the off state, I have it to this gray to sort of show that it's still, we can tell it's blue, but it's, it's still nice and dark because it's off. Lastly is a drop shadow. Um, it's a, <clears throat> a white drop shadow. I have the blend mode set to pin light. You could use any number of blend modes. I just, for whatever reason, chose that today. The distance is one and the size is zero. So that gives us this little, sort of the, the, the light reflecting off this lip of the bezel that the LED is sitting in. So that's our off state. And then next we'll do the on state. And here's where I think things get 
uh, quite often convoluted and, and overdone. Um, some people, they'll do the on state of an LED and they'll still have things in there like inner shadows and, and inner glows and it, in, in truthfulness, in, in my opinion, unless it's a, a very dim LED, once it's on, you're not going to see any of that anymore. You're looking straight at it, all you're going to see is this bright, blinding, glowing pool of light. So the way I accomplish that is with a, I've got an inner glow set to center, size of 8, it's white, the blend mode is normal, and I have it set to 100% opacity. And what that gives us is this little hot spot right here, that white sort of hot spot in the middle. Next is the color overlay, and here I'm using the same principle as I did with the off state, using the color dodge blend mode on top of the actual color of the, of the circle itself. But now I have it set to white, and I have it boosted up to 100%, so it gives us a very bright blue color. You can see if I were to slide that down, you lose it. So that's how I get that bright blue. Next is an outer glow, and here I use a, a real small outer glow set to a very high opacity. In this case, I have it at 100%, and that's in sort of the same color that we're seeing in the glowing LED. So to me, what that does is it gives you a, a more a tight sort of blur around the, around the shape. And then I'm using a drop shadow for more of a, a much more subtle but much more wider spreading glow. And for that I use the same blue color, set it to pin light, and the key here is when you want to use your drop shadow as a glow instead of as a shadow, set the distance to zero and then set the size to whatever you want. You can mess with spread as well it sort of makes it brighter. It depends on what you want. Um, to me, you know, I guess that does, that is kind of effective when I turn the spread up a little bit, but um, to me that, that glow would be, would be very subtle, so I'd leave it very low. And that's the layer styles for the glowing side of the LED. And the, the cool thing about this is that you, you do have to adjust the color of the outer glow and the drop shadow on the active state or the, the, the on state. But other than that, you can essentially change the color of your LED by just changing that base color. So if you see, I go to green, uh, I'll just copy my style from here, and then I'll do the off state of, or no, I'm sorry, the on state of green, amber, and red. I'll paste my layer style, and you see all that's left to do now is a little bit of adjustment of each one. Same with the off state. Copy my off state from the blue one. paste it to the others. In the case of the off state, there really is no adjustment to be done. These, to me, look great, and they all have the same style applied. The only difference is the actual base color of the shape. So I'll go in and adjust those on states really quick. I'll do amber first, so I need to go to my, I'm sorry, my outer glow. Change that to more of an amber hue. See how that looks. Um, and then my drop shadow, change that to an amber as well. That's looking good. Now I think that that inside is a little too bright for an amber LED. It's almost looking more like a yellow LED. So I'm going to go to the color overlay, which is set to color dodge, which gives us that brightness, and crank it down just a little. There we go. 
Now that looks a little bit more realistic, like a amber LED to me. So and I, I'll, I'll go through and do these others as quickly as I can. Do red. Red is always is always a tricky one. It's hard to get a realistic red glow effect for whatever reason. It, in my opinion, I've I've always had trouble with it. Um, I don't know why it doesn't. A lot of the tricks you can use on some of the other colors just don't seem to transfer to red as much. I'm gonna bring that inner glow down a little bit. And there's my glowing active state for my red one. Last I'll just fix up the green a little bit. Change my outer glow to a green color. And this one again I can tell right away that we're gonna have to bring down the opacity of that color dodge layer. There we go. And then go to the color overlay. Bring that down and there. That looks that looks pretty good. So there you go. Four different colors, glowing LEDs with on and off states. Hope you found that helpful and thanks for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank mm -hmm. you.